Hey everyone, how's it going? God Gamer here. Today I'm going to be playing a Hollow Knight mod called The Glimmering Realm. So this mod, it's kind of like a room randomizer almost, where the layout of the map is completely shuffled. However, the difference with The Glimmering Realm and a room rando is that The Glimmering Realm works by manually placing the rooms. So the person who made the mod actually placed every single room manually. <laughs> so it's still kind of like you get lost the entire time, apparently. But um, the progression of the game is like intentionally different. So it's kind of like a new experience, but still the old Hollow Knight. So I'm really interested tr to uh, try this out. And uh, sorry for being late. <laughs> I, uh, I was super early. I was prepared very early and then I opened the game and my controller wasn't working, of course. <laughs> but hope you all are doing well today. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Hello, Hooter. <laughs> Murphy's Law, yeah. Yep, definitely. So, uh, this mod is fairly new, but apparently there's already an expansion. I don't know how long this mod is or that much about it. I did spoil myself a little by looking up the map. I didn't actually like study it or anything, but I wanted it for my thumbnail. So I did see it, but I didn't see much of it. So yeah, I'm just going to start this up. Some of the cool stuff about this mod, by the way, is that it actually changes the lore of the game, apparently, too. So we're, we're going to be reading the lore, I guess. I'm probably not going to, like, remember any of it, but we'll look at it, at least. <laughs> Matilda Durkowski became a disciple. Yo, thanks so much, Matilda. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. I am the new king now. The old king has been banished. He is evil anyway and has spread his monsters everywhere. Now can everyone start rebuilding? And I don't know who that was attributed to, because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> But, hey everyone, hey Colt, Kadala, Marcus, Miles, Nemu, MK Lemon, and Lisa, and Artful, and Brianna, Ruby, Goth here. Hope y'all are doing well today. I'm really looking forward to this because I do enjoy room randos a lot, but this is like, this is like a souped up room rando, almost. And you can't even use a map in this. Like, I wonder if map mod S would work, but I'm not using it because you're supposed to play this without a map at all. So it's going to be interesting to just be totally lost. <laughs> Let me just turn my phone off. And yeah, shoutouts again to Kadala for this wonderful skin. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be tough because everything is, like, completely new. And I'm not super confident in my memory. I'm getting older every day. <laughs> hey, Mademoiselle. I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? So the first, I think this room and Dirtmouth are like the same, but then everything after that is different. Hey, Gambo, how you doing? <laughs> Hope your uh, Hollow Knight learning is going well. Thank you, Gambo. I was... okay. So I, I'm playing in big picture mode. How do I become a member? Oh, hey, Liam. Uh, there should be a join button somewhere. If the join button isn't there, uh, that's YouTube's fault. So I can't really do anything about it. But hopefully the join button is there. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Liam. So I'm playing in big picture mode because that was the only way I could figure out how to get my controller to work. Um, maybe I should grab Fury. Assuming it's actually there. And I just got like a friends playing a game pop up in the bottom right corner, but my face is covering it. So, oh, it's a rancid egg. 
We don't get fury in this mod. God damn it. <laughs> oh, hey, Becca, by the way. Thanks a lot for the re-membership. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Oh, you got the piano book? How do you like it, Matilda? Sounds like you are enjoying it. <laughs> I actually haven't got it yet, but I, I do really want to. Became a disciple. Hey, oh, oh. Thanks so much. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. King of Light welcomes you, traveler. His blessing is with you while you obey his law. Who said anything about obeying the law? Now step forth into the glory of his creation, the glimmering realm. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing pretty well. Thank you. Kind of sad because vacation is over, but kind of happy because I got to see my colleagues again. Hope you had a nice vacation. So apparently some of the NPCs are a little bit different in this. Dirtmouth, the fading frontier. So like some of the text has changed, basically. Oh, a traveler. No one has come this way for a long time. Well, thanks a lot, Kareem. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. No one has come this way for a long time, you know. The roads have gotten more and more dangerous, but do make yourself at home. Sadly, most of our town isn't in great shape, with most people missing or stuck down below. The entrance to the lower levels has been blocked for days. I'm almost worried sick. <laughs> so, I've watched the trailer for this, and one of the things they show is that, like, the well is blocked off. So you can't actually go down here. So you gotta go to the right instead. I love it, the art is amazing. Oh, there's like artwork in the book too? That's awesome. Although the songs are a bit difficult for me. Yeah, it seems that <laughs> a lot of the Hollow Knight music is pretty tough. Like, I'd love to learn Sealed Vessel, but that would be really hard, I think. So I wonder if you can just go to the right. Like, I, I want to go up, but I would just want to see if I can go to the right. Oh, Outer Fortifications. Okay, we've got different area names. Holy shit, what the hell? Didn't I go to the right? <laughs> I've never, like, gone into a transition and been sent upward like that when I'm not expecting it. <laughs> so, yeah, we are in Crystal Peaks. You can see there's, like, a platform. Oh, shit. I wonder if you can still break this wall. But you can see they added, like, platforms and stuff so you can get through areas you normally wouldn't be able to. You play the piano? Uh, <laughs> I played the piano, like, over a decade ago. And I was just kind of, like, self-taught. So, oh, I'm back in the outer fortifications. Okay. So it's not... The map is kind of connected. Okay. <laughs> it's not like a room rando where you'll just get sent to somewhere completely random. So it looks like I'm supposed to go up here because there are the platforms leading up. So I will take this path first. Hell yeah, Matilda. Piano is such a good instrument. Wait, 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 wait. What did Cornifer say? <laughs> Let's actually read this. Oh, oh, I missed the dialogue. Oh, back again. Might I interest you after all? Cornifer is giving me a stag. All right. Well, I guess because there's no maps in this, Cornifer gives you stags instead. All right. That's kind of cool. Oh, dear. I haven't even introduced myself, have I? The name's Cornifer. I'm an engineer for the stag network. The only one left by now, probably. I'm currently on a journey to repair the stations out here. They're in quite a state, you know. Orders from the head stag masters are really getting sparse these days. No idea why. They used to be so hectic all the time. Couldn't happen to me if I tried. All right. <laughs> hey, Riley. How you doing? What actually took Silk Song so long to make was the music. Totally worth it, though. All the music... I've heard so far are just bangers. Ouch. 
Self-taught is pretty hard, especially when you don't know what you're doing. Because <clears throat> I'm self-taught and super don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt too when I was learning. I wonder if the grub is still down in the bottom right or if I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, I might need that that one to pogo off of. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I fucked it up. I was trying to pogo off that, but I got knocked back. I wonder if I can pogo off this dude. Oh no, I can't. <sighs> shit, I almost got the skip. Hey, Rua. Oh fuck. Ouch. Oh, I don't think I can make this. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh. Oh, oops. <laughs> Silk Song music will be amazing. Hell yeah. My aunt broke her pinky playing a song on piano. Oh god. That is terrifying. Oh, I'm skipping the dialogue again. Just out of habit. <laughs> My husband spends most of his time fixing up the old nail signaling system. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, she's she's talking about corner for right. <laughs> I'm just selling souvenirs these days, okay. Oh, a charm notch. Oh, Zelda has completely different items. Okay. I don't care too much about Lifeblood Heart, but there's a vessel fragment, a charm notch, Mask Shard, Glimmering Seal. I wonder if it's worth the same amount of money. And a Pale Ore. Cons of being used to speedrunning. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. clears throat> so I think if I'm in that room again, I think you're supposed to take the bottom route, but you can definitely skip through the top route, I think. Well, I say definitely, but I'm... Not totally sure, actually. <laughs> How's the mod so far? It's pretty interesting, um, the way it just changes the layout. And, like, going through peaks like this, it is definitely more challenging than the base game. So I do like that. I wasn't expecting to die so soon. Oh, what the heck? I did not see that platform before. Very excited for the mod. Always love the aesthetic of Crystal Peak. Hell yeah. Ouch. Sardine underscore Slayer donated five dollars and fifty nine cents. Yo, Sardine Slayer. Fire. It's currently midnight here in Australia and was wondering if you have played the new Cuphead DLC yet. Either way, keep up the good work. Uh, I have not played it, although I am kind of interested. Thanks a lot, Sardine Slayer. Hope you're doing well. Oh, shit. I should probably have just killed that enemy. I want to keep this at high health. I should definitely just kill this enemy. <laughs> I want to get it to shoot over at the right platform. Uh, why, why did I try to do that? I'm just trying to skip stuff so I can break the logic of the game. <laughs> That's all I care about. Oh shit. I'm glad that crystal was there. Jesus, I would have died. <laughs> Lack of a map sounds kind of brutal. My memory is garbage. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I figure that in my case, since I'm streaming, that's going to be the fun part. Just... Oh shit, there's two of them now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not, not these guys. Come on. Come on. Shoot. Shoot at the platform. No, that does not work for me. Maybe I should just go to the bottom already. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. No.
Okay. Let's heal up once. Oh, that's already here. Okay. Oh my god, get get out of here. Oh, can I make this jump? Not sure if I can make that. Can I aggro these ones again? I don't know if I can. Oh. Is, is it coming? No, it's not coming anymore. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I just want to do a skip. Let me let me make chat bigger because it's not big enough on my screen right now. Bad memory gang. Yup. The text to speech is kind of low. Okay. Let me just change my audio balance real quick. Wait, where's my volume mixer? I actually don't know where it is. Well, hopefully that's a little bit better. So I think I can make this jump if I jump perfectly. Yeah, okay. I was a little bit worried. Oh, yeah, I'm not making it through here. This looks like the flower quest room, but backwards? Is that, is that what this is? I'm pretty sure it was the flower quest room, right? I didn't expect rooms to be like mirrored. Okay, can I make this? Okay, good. <laughs> okay, have a nice walk with uh, Freya. Ru. Overgrown pastures. What? Oh, this is the big room. Okay, let's read the lore. Keep off the pasture. It's full of Durandu dung. What? <laughs> Wait, are Durandus the big flying things? Someone who knows the Hunter's Journal, please let me know. <laughs> Charm Notch. Oh, it gives me a heal. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Good to know I'm not crazy. Alright, we got a journal. It's cool that the item placements are different. I actually didn't even think that they would be different. But now that I think about it, it is in the trailer as well. So I th I'm pretty sure that this is the intended path. I was kind of hoping you would be able to skip through the top path by like manipulating the crystal hunters because I figured that the crystal hunters were intended to be used for a skip, but but that is all right. How do you get abilities in this mod? They're placed, they're like manually placed in the world. So like they're somewhere. I just have no idea where. I wonder, where does this lead? Durandus are the ones in the acid. Durandas are the flying ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything at the Geo Rocks down here. Wait, where's, where are they? Here? Oh, there's just Geo Rocks. <laughs> well, it's probably good if the Geo Rocks aren't randomized. Because I don't want to have to search every Geo Rock location. Hive Guardian Jim donated three dollars. Opinion on Hive Guardians? Not that I'm a Hive Guardian or anything. <laughs> Hello, Hive Guardian Jim. I think they are bastards. Those are the ones that are like one size smaller than Big B, right? Or are they Big B? <laughs> Either way, they're bastards, because their bees, bees are, like, automatically bastards, so... My apologies, Jim. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Oh, Cornifer again. I don't know if I have enough Geo for the stag. Sorry I s skipped your dialogue again, Cornifer. <laughs> Green Path Stag. Uh, so I, I don't know where the stag actually is. I don't have any charms yet. I, 
I've already inserted the big boys. Oh, that is so Big B is the Okay, I hate Big B. Big B's a piece of shit. <laughs> you ever speed run the game, you'll understand. Like that B's are pretty bad in this game, but Big B is the worst. <laughs> okay, so there's not a grub over there. I wonder if there are grubs in this. What if they just removed grubs completely? Like, I'm pretty sure this this map is like a lot smaller than the base map, so maybe they just completely removed grubs. Maybe. <clears throat> What's this? Another journal. You wish. <laughs> Not as bad as Primal Aspids. Mmm. Yeah. True. It's kind of interesting that they changed the name of seals, but the journals are the same. I guess it's just like lore. I don't know. Play this game casually and you agree. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> okay, let's see what this lore tablet says. Looking for a gardener must be of reputable standing and experienced with murdering shrubbery. Pay 30 geo per hour. Damn. It's like minimum wage here. I am experienced at killing shrubbery though. Not like Scurry the Grass Percent Master, but <laughs> I am pretty good at it, I would say. <laughs> okay, let's get this Chew. We're talking enemies that suck and Great Hoppers. I, I actually, I'm okay with Great Hoppers. I think they're like pretty satisfying to kill. As a casual player, I just wanted a quick slash and lost over 2,000 Geo. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, oops. Oh, is this, is the stag actually gonna be here? Oh, okay, nice. So you can use Bench Warp with this mod, right? Okay. Although I imagine there won't be all these benches. Let me make sure. Yeah, okay, I got the stag bench. Uh, I don't have enough Geo to buy anything in Dirtmouth, so I'm not going to go back yet. Just realized your soul meter's also wearing the hat. Yeah, and it's got the blushies. Oh, oh, there are grubs. Damn it. <laughs> hey, Moo. How you doing? Oh, there's Hornet. So I'm already like totally lost at this point. <laughs> so, elderly moss knight seeks a vengeful eye. What? Oh, this is another job posting. <laughs> Paid an exposure. Oh my god. Yo, Dogby. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. <laughs> Thanks so much for the support. Oh, I'm in fungal now. Oh my god, I'm so lo I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm so lost. Oh my god. Mantis Ranch, what? <laughs> um, I, I'm just going to keep going forward and hope that I can get to where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I'm just going to trust the mod. Oh shit. Oh god. I'm to damage tank. Oh, this is not good. 
Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> the platform wasn't there. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm not too far from where I was. Where's the Lawn Lawn Ranch music? <laughs> that would be perfect. I think overall Mantis Petras are your least favorite enemy. They're pretty annoying, yeah. Especially as an any percent runner. Like, I think we're just scarred from like the um, Petra arena. But it looks like it would be very difficult to get past the spot. So I'm just going to go back. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn. I've Guardian Jim. I'll tell Dad about this. I'll wreck your shit. <laughs> oh god. Like he already does. Whenever I run one twelve percent, it's not like it's not like it'll get any worse, you know. <laughs> On my first Path of Pain attempt, I died to King's Mold since I panicked. Yeah. I've so I've done hitless runs and lost plenty to the King's Molds. Plenty of runs have been lost to them. Because they do that, like, hop backwards. If it weren't for that, it would be okay. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go up here. I don't think I'm supposed to go through that room yet. Design-wise, they're a delight. Oh, you mean, like, the anim- like, artwork and stuff? I'm gonna farm a bit of soul here, because I don't like being low health. That was a cool recovery the first time, though. <laughs> I really like pogoing those projectiles. That's actually one of my favorite things about this game, is being able to just pogo a ton of, like, random stuff. Like, you can pogo these explodey things. Don't recommend it unless you like losing two health, but you can do it. On older patches, it was a bit less punishing because they wouldn't explode unless... Well, after they start slowing down, they don't explode, if I recall correctly. Oh shit, it's Leg Eater. I'm <laughs> like, what room is this? It, it just throws me off so much when the rooms are mirrored. Echo Adams became a disciple. Yo, Echo Adams. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thanks so much for the support. Backwards movements are just annoying overall. You mean like flying enemies? So I, I think that's one of the... Elevator pass. Okay. I think that's one of the things that people struggle with with flying enemies is that like they don't know when the enemy is going to be like flying toward them or away but it's just like a set distance like once they get a certain they, once they're like when they're far enough away they always fly towards you and then once they get close enough they start flying away from you so that's just what you need to keep in mind with flying enemies in this game but like once you see that pattern then they become a lot easier to deal with i think Oh, can I make... I don't think I can make this. Can I? Nope. I made it all this way. <laughs> At least there's a bench for a checkpoint. Uh, okay, let's just keep going backwards. Games with Freddy became a disciple. Yo, Games with Freddy. Ouch. Welcome oh. to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much for the support. Okay, we don't get previews. So I assume that's just essence then, right? Because there's no like item preview. Been watching so many of your pods recently. Glad to finally catch you live. Hell yeah. Glad you're enjoying the, uh, the videos. They're just at that range where it's annoying to get up close to hit them. Yeah. And they... A lot of the time you just get screwed over like by the projectiles. Ouch. 
Autsch. Autsch. <lacht> Autsch. We're just gonna heal up. <laughs> I was getting very lazy about dodging. Is this another charm notch? Oh, it's a simple key. Watcher Knights are so satisfying to beat because of how annoying they are. <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? I wonder if you can... If it's on the other... If these Loodles are on the other side, you could totally pogo them. Like, you could totally wait for it to get high enough and to pogo it twice, I think. But, I, I mean... We're not gonna do that. <laughs> So another dead end. Okay. So let's go backwards and find a spot that we haven't explored. I was so close, close to... Uh, sorry. Brain malfunction. I was so close to losing my steel soul run to crystal hunters outside the crystal mound. They're like pretty tough to deal with. But, like, as annoying as they are, I actually love Crystal Hunters because you can slap their projectiles and pogo their projectiles. Like, the fact that you can do that is just really, really fun to me. No sequence breaks. People leave. <laughs> I was looking through the Discord and I saw the dev actually left some in, apparently, that he saw in the speedrun. Or that they saw in the speedrun. I don't know what pronouns they used. But, um, I was like, cool. I'm glad that they didn't just patch the sequence breaks out, at least the ones that exist. Massive Moss Charger, first boss. Oh my god, it hits for double. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't an insta-kill. I think it would need to be an insta-kill for it to be challenging, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Massive Moss Charger. The unbeatable boss. In Steel Soul, I always die to fungal waste in the acid. <laughs> oh no. I can't really laugh at that because of the last video. I don't know how many times I fell into acid recording that. <laughs> Probably like six or seven times. An insta-kill would be hilarious. Yeah, I would have laughed so hard. <laughs> Imagine if TC had patched out the pogo skip to Watcher Knights. Oh my god. You know, people sometimes say that that's intended. I don't know if that's intended. Is it? It might be, but it also might not be. Because there's just like a lot of pogoable stuff in this game. So it could be a coincidence. But then there's also stuff like the... The False Knight skip, which is well, obviously intentional. So it's like Team Cherry did add some stuff for speedrunners on purpose. Yo, Strawberry, how you doing? Hope you're having a nice weekend. <laughs> Derelict Plantations. Why did they make all the area names fucking impossible to remember? Derelict Plantations. Oh, this is blocked can't even go through here anyway. <laughs> okay, you cannot make that jump. I know that for a fact. Nearly died in the Colosseum a few times on my Steel Soul run. Well, I'm glad you managed to make it through. Here rests the master of mushroom pancakes. I remember when I started playing Hollow Knight, I was terrified of Massive Moss Charger. 
Never beat it until 50 hours in. Isn't massive mods... Okay, like, it's pretty big. <laughs> but... <laughs> but... I think there's other things that are a lot more terrifying in the game. <laughs> That's really funny, though. You really need to focus into platforming and fungal waste. It's hard to memorize... Oh, Forlorn Village. It's hard to memorize where the acid pools are. That happened to me as well? Oh my god. <laughs> Doing good, done nothing but sleep and eat today. Hell yeah, that's awesome. That food you posted looked really good. You may call me Salubra and I run this... Okay, is this... It doesn't say Charming Hostess Salubra normally, right? So this dialogue is all different. You know dear old Grussmother up in the old storeroom. She used to be my business partner, but then she got pregnant, so I had to continue my business alone. A pity, really, she was quite the talent. Send her my regard. What is this dialogue? Forlorn vill village ticket. What? Oh, this is a stag station, right? So I assume I have to get this to progress, because it seems like the mod maker is making us go through as much as possible before giving us an ability. They're being very, very stingy with the abilities. But at least there's charms. Wayward compass. You can't, you can't, there's no map. <laughs> Massive Moss Charger was one of my most hated bosses in Pantheons. <laughs> well, is, is that just because of the RNG of it jumping or, like, charging at you? Or... Were you actually struggling? Watcher Knight's easy. Moss Charger, no thanks. <laughs> Just had mushroom potato pancakes for breakfast. What? Mushroom potato pancakes. That sounds awesome. I want to try that. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to buy this for sure. You have no idea what this is. But it smells like shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> glowing Womb. Oh, Glowing Womb could be progression if I have to get past Baldur's. So we might actually need that Sprint Master. Let's get Sprint Master because we're just walking everywhere. Like, we're never going to get Dash. <laughs> so I, bet I better get Sprint Master. I'm going to save the rest of my money, though, because I can just warp back here. So if if we need to kill a Baldur, then we can go back and just get Glowing Room. Mushroom potato pancakes sound lit as fuck. I completely agree. Sly, okay, I'm actually going to read this. Oro, you oaf, you wield your nail like a club. As me, how much deeper do we have to go? Wait, is this normal dialogue? I don't know what the normal dialogue is. <laughs> Soul Village, what a strange dream to have let me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I ever would have woken. Wait, this is normal, right? Oh, whatever. I shouldn't pretend to care about the text. <laughs> I'm just going to forget it in like two seconds. Is this fight the same? Looks like it's the same. Yeah. I'm surprised we don't have, like, triple damage, Grez Mother. Seems like you don't have to kill this boss, though. Menderbug's house is open. Oh, yeah, I should check. It could just be, like, a different room. I was going to check this. <laughs> I almost ran elsewhere. Oh, it is a different room. Okay, good thing. <laughs> so we need dive to go down here. Yeah, I had some leftover mashed potatoes. I like to chop up and fry some mushrooms, mix them together with a couple eggs to make a savory pancake batter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, shit.
Is there actually going to be something here, or am I just going to get trolled with, like, a journal or something? I was just complaining about how stingy <laughs> the uh, mod maker was being. I spoke too soon. Monarch Wings is like my favorite movement, other than Dash. So that's pretty good. Hey Aqua, how you doing? Damn, I wish I had mushrooms on hand right now. <laughs> yeah. That was worth it. I was expecting it to just be like a journal. <laughs> be careful when going to Dirtmouth. You need a ticket for the station door as well. <laughs> yeah. You would just get trapped without that, right? Forlorn Village? Is this the one that I just... Yeah, this is the one that I just bought. So this goes to... Okay. Um... Overgrown pastures. That's just green path, I believe. Let me double check. Oh my god, chat is talking about food. I, like, just ate a big bowl of oats. But you're gonna make me hungry anyway. <laughs> How's it going? So, wait, wait, wait. I just came this way, but is there anywhere else that I can get to? Like, Monarch Wings probably opens up a lot. I can definitely go through that Crystal Peaks room. Let me check down here. I don't think I checked down here. Oh, this is vanilla, right? Is it? Raving chanterelles cooked in butter on toast now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Had leftover Toscana soup. Okay. It's good doing management stuff for school. Nice. That's awesome. I am just doing the house slash YouTube grind, learning to be a proper house owner. <laughs> oh god, I'm getting owned. So like, I bought everything that I need to repair and stain my deck today. Well, not today, but um, this week. And I plan on doing that soon. It's definitely a little bit expensive, but hopefully it turns out well. Never worked on a deck before. But, like, it, it's not in the best shape, so <laughs> it had to be done. Parents live next to a forest. I'm gonna go pick them occasionally. It's so good. Damn, that's awesome. I've never picked mushrooms. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Never had chanterelles. I had them for like the first time recently. <laughs> They're in one of my Instagram posts. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is like one of the first rooms we entered here, right? And then I... 
Oh, man. <laughs> Where the hell am I? I should just go back to Crystal Peaks and go up. That's what I should do, I think. Crystal Peaks was like... Oh, man. Wait, I, I should go to Dirtmouth and then go to the right, because that's going to be really close to... Uh... Oh, and Sly. I need to check Sly as well. That's going to be really close to Crystal Peaks. Crystal Peak, rather. Heavy Blow, Rancid Egg, Spore Shroom. Oh, Tramp Ass. Permits the Traveler access to the Trams of the Glimmering Realm. Okay. Cool. After we bought our house, YouTube became my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, gotta look up all the tutorials. Yeah, don't don't eat random mushrooms you find on the ground. There are like a lot of mushrooms in the neighborhood where I moved to. And I'm pretty sure they're not the edible variety. <laughs> Wait, did I even go this way before? I don't think I went. Yeah, I, I didn't go this way because I just got the text. Lidden Seven became a disciple. Yo, Lidden. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you so much for the support. Okay, maybe this was the intended route in the first place. <laughs> Oh, shit. Crystal Guardian. I... Oh, should I do the Shade Skip? Should I do the Shade Skip? Because I have wings, so I can definitely do it. So I just have to die here, and then I can do the Shade Skip. I just want to skip stuff. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna get the Shade Skip, and I'm just going to get, like, a journal. Or a relic of some kind. Hopefully it's worth it. <laughs> so yeah, for those who don't know, you can do a shade skip to get up um, to Crystal Guardian 2. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if Crystal Guardian 2 is even up there. Hopefully it is. <laughs> Otherwise, this is a total waste of time. But maybe there's something good up there, even if it's not Crystal Guardian. But yeah, you can Shade Skip, but you have to kill Crystal Guardian 1 without killing your Shade. Right? Is that how it works? Or can you just lure it to the right? Because the boss is sleeping. Let me, let me see. Don't listen to them, those are the rare magic gamer mushrooms. <laughs> Those mushrooms are not gamer, trust me. Oh shit, I was looking at chat. <laughs> Outer fortifications, yep. There's clearly more movement up there. Hopefully, hopefully it's, um, dash. Hopefully we just magically, randomly found dash. Wait, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I, I wasn't... I didn't come this way before, right? Before I went... Oh, was it all the way to the left in this room and then up? Because I don't remember coming here at all. Let me check up here, though. I just want to see. Okay. That doesn't tell me anything, but let's go back. Mantis Claw would also be nice. The thing about getting Mantis Claw early in these kind of runs is that, like, it opens up the entire map. So it's just, like, super confusing. Hey, Cinders. How far have we gotten? Um, I found a lot of areas. There's also a lot of dead ends, and the only ability I have is uh, double jump so far. Can I just... Oh, you can just bring the shade over. Oh, 
Okay, it is CG too. Oh, I'm kind of scared now. I don't have... I only have nil, zero. <laughs> I have nothing. Oh, there... Oh, there's... Oh. Oh, so you have... That's why you have to kill the boss. Oh, man, I'm stupid. <laughs> because if you don't kill the boss, then you, you can't kill CG too. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, let, let's try this again. <laughs> I'm like, I know everyone in speedruns kills CG1 and then does the shade skip. But I was like, maybe I don't have to do it. Question is, do you really want to try it with no nail upgrades or dash? Okay, I'm going to try it one time. Like, for real. And hopefully it works. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get destroyed. It's a pretty good chance I will, but... Okay, I think... I, at least I remember the path to get there this time. It's just up here. Is there a speedrun that uses that skip? I think there's one speedrun, but yeah, you're right. It's actually a rando thing, right? I think there was one run. Oh, wait. Could I do this without aggroing my shade? Because that would have been smart. I have to be really careful not to get hit, because this is a long fight. Oh, you... Fuck. Oh, I hit my shade. Oops. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> Maybe I should try to heal. Okay, yeah, healing's not too bad. I have to, like, be really careful not to hit my shade, though. Because I think it's just one hit to death. Oh, I should have tried opening my inventory. Does that work on this patch? Like, does it actually stop your fall speed? Okay. Okay, we only get one... One attempt at CG2, but hopefully it works out. Maybe I should have got an extra charm before doing this. Okay. So weird having wings and nothing else, yeah. Could have maybe found Nailsmith. If Nailsmith is even in this, you have to aggro the shade. Oh, okay. What if you tried going towards Hornet's room? Uh, I think I came... Like, I entered that room from Hornet's room at some point. Like, I, I went through that transition before. Is this also a rando? Uh, it's not rando because it's... The items are placed manually. I have to be careful not to, like, jump above... CG2. Because it'll jump into me. Oh, that was dumb. I might take the opportunity to heal if I can. Like, I need to bait out the attack and then, uh... Should be okay. It might be risky to even go for a heal. Might be safer to just kill it at this point. Okay. 
not as scary as I expected. <laughs> I guess I... Oh, it's just a mask shard. <laughs> not worth it. That's okay. We broke the logic, that's what matters. <laughs> Careful about CG2, though, because if you die, you can't get your shade again. Oh, shit, I didn't even think about that. At least the Geo is nice, because there are some pretty good items that you can get with Geo. Oh, I saw this in the trailer. This is C-Dash. Yep. <laughs> Crystal Hearts. Very nice. So we have Crystal Heart and Monarch Wings. So that's pretty good. Raken became a disciple. Yo, Raken. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much for the support. Oh. Oh, oh quick focus. Alright. Quick focus is a very nice charm to have. Can afford the pass two times over now? Yeah, <laughs> I should go get that for sure. That was at Slice, right? Or I think Light Eater also had something. By the way, for people who aren't following in my Discord and didn't see the announcement, there's a new any percent NMG world record by Lep. Oh, I have C-Dash. Forgot. I got distracted. Got excited talking about the news. Oh, wait. We've actually been from the right here. But now we can get up here because we have double jump. Um, new any percent world record. 3203. <clears throat> it's actually insane how, like, optimized that run is. Like... I knew from looking at the Comsov times that Lep was insane, but <laughs> you don't really expect anyone to string it together so well. Like, I, I knew he was capable of it, obviously, but it was definitely a surprise that the time was that fast. I saw that he beat Bonky's run, and I'm like, okay, he probably beat Bonky's run by like five seconds or something. Nope, 12 seconds. <laughs> that is insane. Yo, yeah, games with Freddy. Are the notch costs different? Uh, I think they're all the same. At least they are so far. So insanely good. Yeah. And it, to me, it's like the consistency that's most impressive. Because, like, <laughs> obviously there were a couple mistakes in the run, but um, everywhere else is just really, really, really fast. Okay. Uh, need to think about where to go now. Uh, there's definitely more to explore in Crystal Peak. So we could go back here and, like, backtrack. That may be able to beat the game in 32 minutes, but I can beat the game in 60 hours. Nice. But Lep could also beat the game in 31 minutes. That's the crazy thing. Well, I mean, it's just an arbitrary barrier, of course. What the hell is with that chank ass laser? <laughs> it's an arbitrary barrier, but. I remember there was a time where I thought 32 was, like, impossible. That was a long time ago, of course, in, like, probably 2017, but... But now 31 is possible, so... <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the room I wanted to get back to. Because... Uh, I don't know if that room is going to be doable. And also, it's a dead end, isn't it? Wait, doesn't that room existing mean there's there's going to be a flower quest that I have to do? With the randomized rooms? 
Mm. <laughs> oh shit, oops. Wait, I wonder if you have to do this without dash. Here rests the masked child. Okay, this room is... Uh, nothing, I believe. For now. He plays within 0.5 of Comsob so often on movement splits. Yeah. Yeah, like, the consistency is just really impressive. Okay, I'm just gonna run through these areas again, just to kind of uh, refresh my memory a little bit. Do you think we'll ever see sub-30? No. Uh, I think the route isn't gonna, like, there would have to be a reroute. And... Uh, I don't, I don't think that's happening. <clears throat> uh, obviously, there's, like, the potential to find a glitch that changes things a lot, but if it does, it'll be considered major, almost for sure. I'm actually really surprised that uh, Stall Ball was not voted major, but even that isn't going to change things. Did I? Yeah, I got that. Have I been to the top left? I, th I think I have, because I killed the Moss Knights. Have I been through the right, bottom right side? <clears throat> yeah, like, I think left some of best is 3115, so... <clears throat> People would have to start uh, playing literally perfectly. And even then, they wouldn't be able to get it, so... Even with, like, perfect RNG. At least right now. Yeah, stall ball doesn't work on 1221. So... Yeah. No, world record is 3203. So yeah, sub-32 is definitely possible. Like, the the world record that Lep just got was 32.03, and it had, it had a um, missed scream skip. So it's like that alone. And there was like, it was a really bad RNG THK, like really bad. So, all he needed was a good THK, and he would have got the 32, or sub-32. That's all he needed. Okay, I can get past this. <laughs> Do I want to get past this, though? Fucking loodles with no dash. And no spells. Oh, you, you bastard. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> also, that lantern stag lever. <laughs> but, like, the reason why that happened is because... <clears throat> well, I, I mean, he might have been nervous or whatever, but it's also because his movement is so optimized that he's, like, trying to hit it. And he's just, like, a pixel off each time. Because, like, the more optimized your movement is, the m more likely it is that you make mistakes like that. Oh, it's... Oh, man. The room is being mirrored, just... fucks with my brain so much. And then this one isn't mirrored. Oh, more elevators. Oh, the... It's already broken. Okay. I'm gonna just check up here. Okay, you still need the key. Good to know. <laughs> hey, my secret skill. Hope you're doing well. Oh, the stags are so cheap. <laughs> yeah, that was a really funny mistake. 
proof flip is human. <laughs> map guy. Stag guy now. Oh, City of Tears big room. Oh god, there's gonna be so many so many rooms to explore here. Oh, Black Egg Temple. <laughs> Mask Maker's Vault. Okay. Ah, the Traveler returns. This is quite an impressive city, isn't it? It seems to have gone down a drain in recent years, though. Not just because of the rain. There are scars of battle everywhere, and the guards are extremely touchy. Keep your distance from them. Their nails are exceedingly sharp. All right. So do we still have to kill the dreamers to beat this game? Yeah, the characters are, are different, and, um, like, pretty much all the text has been changed. Talk to him again. Maybe. I'll think about it. <laughs> oh, should I have used my key here? I'm not sure if I should have. Oh, well, whatever. What's done is done. Oh, dream nail. Okay. That's, that's a random spot to find dream nail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know they have different dialogue. <laughs> Oh, I was not expecting the grub to be here. I don't even know if you get rewards for grubs in this one. Oh, shit. I should just pogo twice, just in case it does the uh, double slash. Like that. Okay. Dream nail the bug next. Wait. There's a bug there? <laughs> I wonder if there's anything over here. Like if this is the same transition. Okay, no, this is straight to the stag. I'm good, Cinders. <laughs> no worries. Cornifer has been busy, hasn't he? At least some of the network is up and running again. I'm sure business will be right back to normal soon. The Grey City. Oh, they they downgraded the relic here. <laughs> My poor lore obsessed art. You came to the wrong channel for lore. <laughs> you are welcome here though of course even if you like lore i won't i won't uh cancel you for it <laughs> well, i am back here now so i can read and now on stage the delightful Silas and delilah okay i'd that could be vanilla, for all I know. Should I? I should. I guess I should explore this place. I shouldn't explore things halfway and then continue. I'm just gonna confuse myself even more. Oh, I don't have wall jump though. This is kind of annoying to go through here. So I have to call the elevator back down. Wait. <laughs> A Fireborn and moss bag collab is needed. <laughs> Items are kind of the same. Um, some of the items are the same. Well, like, some of the relic spots are the same. Everything else is... Pretty much everything else is different. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, I have to go over here or I'll land on the elevator. Hey, Pogo Brew. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thanks a lot for the support. And welcome. Tastes wrong.
Okay. Back up we go. <laughs> Alright. Okay, this is vanilla. Pleasure house. Okay, so it's a different character name. Sadly, my friend Silas has departed. All right. <clears throat> Thank you for the essence. Just got back with food. What food do you have? God. <laughs> no. La mer, <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> Shaman stone. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Not shaman stone. Why do you have to lock shaman stone behind that? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> That's the price you have to pay. <sighs> like, I, I don't even know how to begin to get back to Flower Quest Room. Yeah, thanks a lot, Ma Maple Syrup. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. If I... Okay, so there's this room, right? XP donated $2.04. If you want to read my lore, just play yourself. Hey, it's a botter. Thank you for making the mod. It's a lot of fun so far. Mask Maker. Now, wasn't wasn't the Black Egg Temple something to do with masks? Or, like, didn't Quirrell mention something? My loyal subject intrudes on my work. What does it want? What? The old king, you ask, he's gone. Sealed away, the mad fool. Key to the prison, secured deep in my vault. So the prison is the Black Egg Temple, and it's secured within the Mask Maker's vault. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure there's pretty bad flower quests in some randos, or room randos. <clears throat> My loyal subject, huh? <laughs> oh, this is designed so you can get up here without uh, monarch wings. Maybe I took a really weird progression path. <laughs> this is... Okay, this is new, right? Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have used my key here. <laughs> I knew I would have. I knew I was going to regret that. Knew the mask maker was the true villain. Oh, this is blocked off. <laughs> Good day to you, pale visitor. And welcome to my little store. I sell these little souvenirs to the hordes of foreign visitors who can afford these exclusive trinkets. <clears throat> okay. One of my commemorative journals, they have little stories from wanderers of the kingdom in them. Can I quick sell? <laughs> oh. Maybe maybe it's off in quality of life. Yeah, that sounds right, Riley. So I wonder if Nailsmith is nearby as well. Now that I have this Geo, I should just, like, go to Dirtmouth once I find a bench close by. <clears throat> and, uh, just, like, buy everything. Oh, this is blocked, too. Hmm. Okay.
Nail Smith down the road. <laughs> Oh, another seal. Should I, I should just sell that right away so I don't have to like come back if I need more geo. Kind of tempted to try this mod. It's it's pretty easy to install. Like it's just on Scarab, so I would recommend it. Honestly, I do like that there's no map. It is nice for a change. Hey streamer, have you had any water recently? Yeah, I just took a big chug. Thank you for the reminder though. Cries on console. <laughs> Poor console players. Should get shaman stone since there's no cost too great. What does that mean? Um, I'll consider getting it once I have a spell. Oh, is there another? It's probably another relic up here. Yep. Oh god. PC like five months ago before that and played on Xbox. It's a pretty big upgrade, eh? Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can do that with spell stalls. Maybe? Oh god. Oh yeah, I have quick folks. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I haven't actually played Hollow Knight on consoles, but every time I hear about them, it's just like I, I hate playing with input lag. Oh, what the heck? Oh, this is this is the Dash Master room. Oh man, that's so weird. Nice. So this is not possible without Claw for sure. Wait, why am I? Why am I happy about getting Dash Master? I don't have Dash. I need Dash. That's what I want. At least we can get like the extra move speed with Sprint Master, Dash Master. We can get the Naruto run. You can do wings only, Breta. Oh, it. I guess you have to shade skip. Yeah, that sounds pretty cursed. Uh, I think I need to check down, right? Heard acid skip on Switch originally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, QGA with input lag is, like, the worst. Wait. Oh, man. I, like, I'm so... F I was thinking that that room was like backwards because I'm so like disoriented, but it's actually normal. <laughs> Gotta go feed my cat, BRB. Okay. Give your cat some pets for me. Uh, okay. I, th I assume this is just essence, right? I'm gonna just do this just in case there's like an item reward, but I, th I think the fact that I'm getting getting essence means that it's not an item. It's just essence. But I'll double check just in case. Should have should have installed orb tracker. It's such a good mod. Yep, just Essence. Started out on Switch and kind of got used to the slight pause and most moves and such. Wild switching to the PC. Yeah, it's a huge difference. Oh, I've... I've, uh, been here... 
Is there another path that I can go through if I return? I am so lost. Super optimized shade skip plus... Oh, you have to do an e-pogo? <laughs> Itemless gamer drop. Okay, what's a gamer drop? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, leg eater. Shopkeeper's key. Okay, yes. That could definitely have something important behind it. Naruto run. Not QGA, but the one into Fog Canyon. Oh, okay. I mean, even that one's like a bit tricky with input lag. Why is Leg Eater selling grubs? What is he hiding? Good question. Okay, so I've, I've been through every transition here. Um, right? Oh, I can kill Elder Who. Spellless Elder Who is kind of annoying. As is, like, Dashless Elder Who. But the... F oh, shit, not double damage. <laughs> not double damage. Okay, I can heal on that attack, so... But yeah, the fact that I have more movement speed on the ground means I can... Oh, God. Dodge the attacks a little bit easier. Oh, God. Mushroom pancake guy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let me fucking hit you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Dog B. Delicious, what exquisite knife work. Truly, you are a great chef. What the, f the hell are you talking about? <laughs> the botter really had fun writing this dialogue. <laughs> Played Hollow Knight and got to Elder Who. He was so hard that I quit and never played again. Any tips? Yeah, just keep the game uninstalled. It's not worth the time. Uh, okay. I'm back in Green Path. At some point, I'm gonna start to get a feel for the layout of this map, but I'm still, like, so lost. <clears throat> I need to think if there's any rooms that I can go through that I, like, passed up before. Let me just, let me just go to Dirtmouth and buy everything now that I can, because there might be something behind, uh, behind Shopkeeper's Key. Mark of Pride. Nail Master's Glory with no nail arts yet. Mm. Definitely gonna get Tram Pass. I haven't found the Tram yet, though, so... Uh, I'll get the Pale Ore, because this one's cheaper than the other one. Sports Room... Sports Room synergizes with Quick Focus if I want to use that for a boss. But Mark of Pride, I don't... 
think that's worth with how many notches I have, and I only have nail zero, so not going to buy that yet. You did find the crossroads trim, <laughs> did I? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I did. I remember getting the geo rock. You're right. I totally forgot that. <laughs> High fire finally managed to finally wrangled my computer into something approaching submission so I can actually watch. How's the run going? Nice. The run's going pretty well. I am extremely lost because I got like a lot of uh, like I got wings first so that's like a lot of progression. It opens up so much of the map. But so much of the map is opened up that I just feel like super lost. Uh, maybe there's a stag I can go to. I don't think so, but maybe it's worth checking. Pretty early, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely Nailsmith because um, uh, Lem mentioned it. I don't think I went to the bottom left here, like uh, in the big room. Right? I went... Let me... I went up and left here. Oh. <laughs> That's where the nailsmith is. Good luck getting unlost. <laughs> Thank you. I need all the luck I can get. Uh, the next one is... How much? 800. I think I... Do I have another relic? Yeah, I have a journal. So if I went and sold that, I could come back and get nail level 2. I just tried to play again, didn't fight Elder Who, and ended up beating Absolute Radiance Hitless. <laughs> it's kind of funny because uh, I know Lumos posted recently that he had a Pantheon 5 hitless attempt with nail only. So like no spells and elder who was the only boss he took damage to <laughs> so that's like pretty funny i mean it's funny for us but not not so funny for him <laughs> okay let's go back to nailsmith oh my god it <laughs> Wait, so what, what's over here? This is where I went before. I don't know if I explored all the transitions. I don't know if I went to the right in that room. I know I went down. I don't know if I've been right. It sounds infuriating. Yep. Elder Who is just infuriating in general. Maybe infuriating is too strong of a word. Unless you're like doing true ending speedruns, then it is infuriating. Uh -huh. Normally, Elder Who is like just a little bit obnoxious. But I'm gonna be right back. Found a video talking about a city that's just one solid line, and gonna go watch it. Okay, enjoy the video. Absolute radiance with no spells sounds awful. Yep. Uh, okay. I'm gonna backtrack over here. Yo, what's up, Ladybug? Ladybug became a disciple. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thanks a lot, Lady. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, I can't go up there. I don't know if I went down yet. Always trying to aggressively give you the pancakes. Yep. Wait. Oh god, this is so it's so confusing. The <laughs> mirrored rooms. This is a mirrored room, right? Oh, this is yeah, this is above chunk bit. <laughs> this hurts my brain so much. Fluke farmer. They grow fast in these tunnels, it'll take weeks till the fungi sprout again. 
Alright. Cool. I believe I've beat Elder Who, but I also haven't played in a while. Hmm. Playing HK without your... Wait, we're talking about... Did people start talking about keyboard? I find keyboard is, like, hard to get used to, but I do think it's... better. A little bit. Just because I hate controllers, mainly. Finally figured out how to disconnect this account from my personal one. <laughs> we do get a lot of people who sub and it's just like their full name. <laughs> so I think like a lot of people have that issue. Thanks a lot though, lady. Scorched Gardens. Would be nice if I uh, had the Geo to get that bench. Because I'm going to have to, like, run back here. How much is it? 150, right? Yeah. Not going to be able to farm that much off enemies nearby. Okay. Uh, I forget how I got here. <laughs> but... Maybe, maybe I can remember at some point. What happens if I take this up? My pleasure. Hope the mod has been fun. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. Wait. Oh. Wait. Oh. <sighs> I'm so lost. I'm like, I know I've been in this room, but how did I get here? <laughs> Mantis Ranch. Oh, man. Okay, I I don't know if I've been to the left in this room. I, I'm pretty sure I came from the bottom. Let me double check. I don't remember that room. Oh, yeah, I remember this room. So I haven't gone to the bottom. So this is this is a new area for me. Uh, I think I want to check this way first because it's going to be easier to get back up here as opposed to if I go to the bottom left. Just in my... Oh, shit. Oops. Let's go this way. Just did my second playthrough of HK and save So it turns out So the Mighty's boss fight is harder than Elder Who. You mean like cheap easy? Oh, what's this? Is there usually an item here? A Sherman's hook. Oh, this is wall jump. What? <laughs> it, it's just mantis claw. Why is it called fisherman's hook? Did I hear you praising HK on keyboard for a second? <laughs> yeah, I'm so jealous of keyboard runners because they don't have these. Horrible controllers. I hate controllers. I just, I can't play on a keyboard. Or at least I haven't took the time to like get used to it. We meet again. This really is a lovely corner in this hostile kingdom, isn't it? I came here after a weird little fella in the plantations tried to sneak up on me and steal my shoelaces. Have you met him yet? Who is Grohl even talking about? <laughs> feel something is happening, something important. I'm feeling a strange pull eastward, far, far away. Perhaps it's one of the other fallen kingdoms calling, the Land of Storms, maybe, or Hollow Nest. I switched from controller when I started speedrunning. It's definitely a good idea, I think. Like... It's totally valid. I don't think you're gonna, like, be gated by the fact that you use controller, but I do think keyboard has some nice little advantages. Like, I think, uh, 
like left use this controller right and pass use and use this controller hey dwarf foot hope you're doing well den of twilight oh my god <laughs> just more new areas okay i'm gonna check it's down here i guess first okay okay there's a bench good oh this is the deepness wait yeah this is the deepness bench i was like is this the crossroads or the deepness sauna Lep has a custom controller that's closer to a keyboard. Oh my god, Lep has one of those cool-ass controllers. I'm jealous. That's one I want to get for Silk Song. And like, just get... What the fuck am I doing? And like, get used to using that uh, when I do my casual playthrough. So that way I like don't have to relearn it later on. Do I have to do this? This is... Why... Why did... Why did the dev make this room backward? Fuck. <laughs> I don't want to do backwards dark rooms. <laughs> oh, this is the room underneath Beast Den. Like the, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. The mayoress, welcome. Isn't this a quaint little village? So peaceful, far away from the kingdom's toils and troubles, you simply must meet my husband upstairs. He's a true gourmand. What, is that Elder Who? Yeah, fight sticks are really nice. I got like an arcade stick back there, right here. And it's really nice to use, but uh, I would definitely want buttons for movement for Hollow Knight. It's like a, basically like a smash box, essentially. I did my first one 12% playthrough on controller and couldn't get the accuracy I wanted with joystick, but hated the feeling of using D-pad. Yep, that's a lot of people, I think, because like the joystick does feel inaccurate because you have like the dead zone and everything. But D-pad is very uncomfortable for people. I don't mind D-pad personally, but I do get a sore thumb after a while, which kind of sucks. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I have wall jump. I already forgot. <laughs> so I guess you're supposed to go through here um, without lantern, maybe? the spider that just spawned. <laughs> oh, it's below me. Okay. No more dark rooms. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Once I started the grind for P5, I switched to keyboard. Say so it took me about a month to get to the skill level I was at on controller with keyboard controls. That's some dedication to do that for a month. I've been waiting for someone to rewire the artist tool for shortcuts. You put your hand in. Okay, one sec. Oh. Huh. This is the mayor. Okay. I wonder if I'm supposed to have a spell <laughs> at this point. Because, like, there was the shaman stone. Right. Ouch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was just like, I'm not even gonna jump and try to avoid this. Oh, 
Oh, man. Don't die. I'm glad I canceled that heal. Jeez. <laughs> Not even close. Been waiting for someone to rewire the artist tool for shortcuts. You fit your hand in it like a mouse to click all your control Z and stuff faster. I have no idea what that is. Seems like someone could use that for a game. Sounds interesting. Oh no, mirror darkroom. Yeah. Oh god, I'm so behind on chat. <laughs> that was like 10 minutes ago. Mask of power. All right. We got a dreamer. AKA mask of power. My one problem with controller is Joy-Con snapback. Yeah, that's that's super annoying too. You get like misdirections. I've been told that someone made a joke controller this week that's just called a hurt box instead of a hip box that's all joysticks. <laughs> oh, that sounds horrifying. Oh, back in the dark room. Okay, so I want to go up and see what the other transition here is. Yeah, I've done this room enough in any percent to get through here pretty easily. I actually think it took... Oh, Jin. Wait, I'm not even on Steel Soul. I will pay for food, any food. So I can still sell rancid eggs. Okay. Normally this... For those who don't know, this NPC normally only shows up on Steel Soul, so you can get rid of rancid eggs. So you can, like, sell them for a random amount of Geo. That's cool. I can actually sell the eggs in this playthrough. I actually think it took me less than a week to get back to my same shitty level. And now you're insanely good at the game, so... And it looks like you're definitely supposed to at least get dive at some point. Yeah. Yeah, I think so for sure. Uh, so I can go back to the, the deep nest, uh, uh, bench, right? Yeah. Because I've explored everything, um, around that room. Wait, what was to the right again? Anyway, I gotta run. Lots to do this afternoon. Have fun with the rest of the stream. Thanks a lot, Rua. Hope you have a nice day. Hope you get lots done. You can also enter Forgotten Crossroads with dive. Yeah, there were a decent number of dive spots early on. Wait, is this where... Is this the room that I went through? No, this isn't... Wait. Yeah. Yeah, this is the room that I went through with Mask... Uh, not Mask Maker. Whatever that NPC's name is. <laughs> so I do not need to go through here again. But there are two other transitions to the left. And I'm going to get them first, and then I'm going to go back to that bench and go to the right. Oh, wait. So I've been through the top left. So there's one more that's uh, down, and then there's another one that's down. Right? Midwife. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the tram. Oh, wait. I... I've been to the other side of this tram already, right? But I also forget how to get to the other side of the tram, so at least it'll be nice to get this bench. I've 100% steel soul before and have never seen that NPC. Yeah, sometimes I see that uh, character in randos and people are, are just like, not, not, in, yeah, it is in randos, but also like, I think it was like a Steel Soul speedrun that I did back in the day where I would actually need to like sell rancid eggs. Okay, we're back in Green Path. I don't know if I've explored everything in Green Path, but I, I've explored a lot of it. So I'm not going to explore in there right now. 
But yeah, I would uh, sell Rancid Eggs to get Geo for something in one of my old speedrunning routes. I think it was like a meme category. Welcome back, Cinders. My cat has climbed up on my shoulder and is so cute. <laughs> Oh, I... Is this... Oh. Oh. Oh, it... <laughs> you can get all the way up here. This is cute. Oh, let's go back down. <laughs> so I want to see what's down here. The Line City... Wait. Oh, I'm in Ancient Basin? Wait, is this the abyss? The Lion City was an incredibly interesting thing out of sci-fi and basically like Snowpiercer, except IRL. I have no idea what any of that means, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Jin is in randos. I had no idea where they were from. Yeah. It's especially confusing because you like leave Gigi's hut and you're like, where, what? You know, like, where the hell am I? Here lies the old, mad old king. Nobody may enter on account of him being mad and old. All right. Guess I gotta get King's Brand. Or whatever it's called in this. <clears throat> so I need to think of places that Claw opens up. Definitely um, the Toll Bench. I need to go back there. I, I forget where that was, though. I completely forgot where that was. Let's go back here and go to the right. <laughs> Shroom Vader. It is fun to just like bounce on those shrooms. Cocoon to in. Alright. If I I know a top secret strategy to get world record. Lay it on me. What is it? Oh shit. Oh my... I'm, I'm just gonna die here, aren't I? What is this... spot? <laughs> oh. Three question marks. Okay, so I have to remember to go back to the stag station. not going to pick that up until I kill this spider. <laughs> oh my god. Basically a vertical city built on a line through the desert of Saudi Arabia. What the hell? Covered in mirrors on both sides, but it has a lot of concerns for how it's actually going to function. <laughs> Seems like they're going for novelty over anything else. Which is a little bit concerning. Somewhat concerning, yeah. <laughs> Had ads about this city? What? Okay. I need one more hit on that wall. Uh, let me see dash. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> now you can go to waterways. What? Did I get a key? Oh, I got a key. When did I get that? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Did I just get that now? I like, I literally cannot focus on chat and what I'm doing in the game. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. <clears throat> yes, you did. <laughs> okay. Good to know. I'm, I'm glad you're all paying attention. Yeah, I think I might go to Waterways next because I actually, like, I know how to get there. I can just go to King Station. I did get Nail, too. Yeah, 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 I did. And I want to find out how I got to Ancient Basin again. <clears throat> 
I forget, was that... It wasn't... Hmm. God, I completely forget. Pretty sure it's just for PR, yeah. Gonna hop out for lunch, be back later. Okay, enjoy your lunch, Nova. 200 meter wide, 500 meter high mirrored skyscraper wall that will span 170 kilometers of desert. I feel like desert is not an ideal spot to live. Rest is going to have terrible consequences for people already living there and the environment. But it's cool. <laughs> okay, at least I can one-shot these. And they don't do double damage. Although I'm getting fucked up. <laughs> oh god. Holy shit. We're gonna fucking die to Fluke Marm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. Oh, dive. We got another progression ability. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta check the stag. Oh yeah, that would have been a good idea, Dwarfoot. Good call. Question marks. Oh, sorry, I missed this. I think the best thing that could come from the city is a lot of new technologies being developed for transit. Yeah, that is kind of interesting. Ooh, quick slash. Nice. And is there anything to the left? Probably not. Yeah. So... <laughs> Someone had a delicious breakfast. Probably leg eater. <laughs> the bastard. Eating the last stag. <laughs> oh, we're back here. You know, now that I think about it, I didn't explore the top right transition in, like, the first room. I wonder if you even need essence. Probably, like... Oh, I have dive. I mean, dive's not super helpful here, but... Oh, maybe it'll help. You must ascend. Done. On my first claim play, I waited until I had Shriek to beat Flukeworm. Hey, that's valid. Especially if you have, like, a bit of input lag, the, uh, little flukes are tricky to deal with. Like, I always have spells when I get to Flukeworm, so you saw, like, how, how out of my element I was in that fight. <laughs> Ascension achieved, hell yeah. Oh. Charm Maker Motto. Oh. Long nail, sure. I hope you'll have much success with my little charm. Just polish it regularly with some Durandu fat. Alright. <laughs> Thank you, Motto. Uh, I can actually equip that, because I do have the notches. I don't have the notches for anything else. And I definitely want to keep the other charms, just so I can move around a little bit faster. But I can come back to that bench and uh, explore the left transition. 
at some point. And there's also... Oh, I can't open that, right? Oh, there's two transitions here, right? Oh, but one always goes to Dirtmouth. Oh, I'm all the way back here. I wonder if this is a good way to do the flower quest. I forget where the flower is completely. <laughs> but also, doing the flower quest without dash would be kind of annoying, especially with the last room. It's a little bit tricky with uh, Monarch Wings, I think. Uh, do I really want to go through this area again? Because there are spots for me to go through. Um, then again, I probably unlocked something. Um, oh, oops. With, with claw, so. Flower is on bottom transition here. Okay, see you, Lydon. Thanks for hanging out. The city seems very much an eco-modernism project designed to look futuristic and lure in tech bros and wealthy Elon Musks. Yeah, we love those people, don't we? Instead of actually improving the majority of the country's living standards. Perfect. Just what we need. Did I miss a chest in this room? No, I got that one. I'm pretty sure I got everything else. Wasn't Mourner on the other side of the pleasure house? Hmm. <laughs> perhaps? Then again, perhaps not. Uh... gonna do a quick run through have I been through the bench liking room I don't think I have right oh the stag room is actually to the left here so I don't need to go there But I could just grab the bench real quick. Mourner was at the top of Mercer's room. Okay. Yeah, that is connected to City of Tears for sure. Right? Pretty sure. Yeah, I don't remember going through the bench liking room. Mm, let me just jog my memory. Okay, this is new. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> got excited too soon, but this is new. I haven't been to the right, because I remember I died here trying to do this. <clears throat> I also need to remember dive spots, because there were a few, and I think some of them were pretty early, so... Oh, I've been... <laughs> I have been through this spot. Oh, man. <laughs> the uh, the interconnected interconnectedness is hurting my brain. I can definitely do the top right, or do I need dash? The uh, top of this room. Honestly, not having dash does make it feel very different in not a bad way. Oh, it's just a relic. Okay. Oh, oops. Oh, <laughs> I got warped all the way back there. Uh, oops. Be 
we still have yet to see if um if there's actually a use for essence but i do kind of think there will be oh okay and this is connect wait this is where um the basin toll bench was right right I'm pretty sure. So this is this is where I want it to go. There's also the well that takes you to crossroads. Is that breakable with dive? I wonder if it is. Because I didn't get the like shaky ground. I think. I think I didn't. Oh yeah, Mender Menderbug's hut. I have to go there. Good call. Okay. So I can definitely climb up here. And this, will, there's a wall, like, to the right here. Okay. Oh, Cornifer. I think the fact that you get stag stations from Cornifer is kind of interesting. I don't know if you're supposed to use bench warp with this mod or not, like, if that's intended. That was a mask shard. I will pass. If I'm not mistaken, it did make a sound. Really? Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, you might be right. I might have not been paying attention. Uh, yeah, that was the, like, uh, last stag station. It connected to Howling Cliffs. Is there anything up here? Just a geo rock. I'll grab that. <clears throat> but yeah, I could go to Hidden Stack Station and see. Uh, I wonder if we have to do White Palace. <laughs> I'm really curious what the speed run through this game would be like. Or a mod, whatever you want to call it. Rancid egg. I don't remember where Jin is. <laughs> oh, it didn't? Okay. <laughs> no worries. Oh, here's. Is this where the hidden station is? Oh, it's not where the hidden station is. This is double jump. Right? Yeah. What do we got? Another mask? Oh, Dreamgate. Okay. Dreamgate's gonna help with navigation. I actually find Dreamgate, like, really useful in room randos, because I'll throw it down once I, like, get to a fork in the road. And it kind of helps. Speedrunning randos slash plandos and stuff like this is super fun. We had an event like that with a spoiler rando every two weeks. Oh, that's like super cool. I've never played a plando. I'm kind of scared because like some of them seem um, pretty difficult. Like I, I haven't actually seen them too much, but I just kind of imagine that there's going to be like some rando specific skips so that's like intimidating in theory but may maybe they're not as bad as i think a plando okay so it's like a randomizer but everything is placed uh manually by uh, someone who kind of like designs how the rando but not a rando will go So they can make it, like, I don't know if the purpose is to make it evil, but that's kind of what I envision. <laughs> I could be way off there. Okay, new area, nice. I'm gonna uh, Dreamgate here. Old Palace Graveyard. Cool. Oh. 
<laughs> I got baited. Oh, this is the white lady, though. Oops. What do we got here? Does she still give me something? Someone's there. Are you one of his men? Please don't tell him I'll give you anything I've got. What? <laughs> All right. All the 1.5 plandos are carefree melody. Nice. It's one of my favorite charms. So you aren't a member of the masked army. What a relief. Thank you for finding me. I've been hiding here for an eternity. Keep the charm. Maybe you can help me if you want. What? Husband has been locked deep below, battered and beaten, to suffer for all eternity. Damn, that sucks. Want you to break the seal placed on him to end his pain forever. Okay. Yeah, we'll go kill him. Yeah, it's cool that the plantos are accessible. Except for Peaks in Peril by Palm. Yeah, that's the one that I saw that I was like, oh shit. Maybe these aren't for me. Because, <laughs> like, I do have a decent amount of general game knowledge. But, like, because I stream everything, I'm kind of afraid of, like, getting stuck. Um... But yeah, if you say they're accessible, then you could definitely give it a shot. I don't know about the others, but pure nails have difficulty level goals too. Oh. So like, you can get different endings. Easy goal is still challenging and fun without being too difficult. Okay. Sounds cool. <laughs> Ma'am, what is going on? She has a carefree melody. Yes, she does. Oh, I'm down here. Okay, we gotta kill Suru. Damn, cotton moment. Ouch. Kind of interesting, because like I, I think if the other bosses deal double damage, probably these Dream Warriors should as well. Like Elder Who did double, right? <clears throat> Your nails, Blandos, are very good. I will keep that in mind. It would be nice to explore that stuff, because like... <laughs> It seems like there's a decent amount of them. And it would also be cool if... Since everyone's saying that they're really good to kind of like bring attention to it. Because I think like a lot of the people on YouTube have no idea what Plandos are. <laughs> okay, I've been through the Seer door. I don't know if I've been through this transition. Oh, this is Hidden Station. The King's Station, rather. <laughs> the lore of this mod is wild, and I'm so here for it. It is interesting. Uh, okay. So this is the one that I just got, so... Now I gotta stop and think again. <laughs> Where the hell do I go? Um... So there's the flower quest, but that only gives me shaman stone, and I don't need shaman stone. We can do it without it. Like, I'm gonna have to figure out the route from uh, the Grey Mourner to the flower quest uh, ending spot. Yo, thanks a lot, Cole. 31 became a disciple. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thanks a lot for the support. Okay, uh, <laughs> where the hell am I going? Uh, so, uh, hmm. Basin Toll? Okay, that's where I just was, pretty much. So there's the Menderbug's Hut that I can go to. That's beside the Salubra's Bench. Salubra Bench, rather. Is there anything I can buy from Salubra that I need? 
It's just glowing womb, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, have I been through all the transitions here otherwise? Like, I think I went up, but that, did I go to the left? Let me just double check if I remember the room to the left. I must have gone to the left after going to glow that glowing womb room. Oh, it's just a stag. Right, I forgot that. Yeah, Elder who did do double. But I don't think the other dreamers did. Yeah, there is a dive spot in here. I think that's like the Gom or Garpede journal room. Yeah, gotcha, Colt. Yeah, welcome back, Lydon. It's a very pretty mask hanging from the wall. You should probably take it. It's just catching dust. Oh, this is <laughs> um, another mask of courage. Okay. Okay, so we actually only need one more to uh, finish the game. Although I wonder... I wonder um, if you can get true ending. Okay. Uh, let me try going to Dirtmouth and seeing what the top right transition is in the first Helling Cliffs room. These are literally the Triforce. Oh god, I don't know any Zelda lore. It's been so long since I played a Zelda game. You know, I think one of these transitions at least connects to Crystal Peak. Is it this one? Probably, because I've talked to Cornifer here. Yeah. But there is the Jonies. Uh, transition, right? Or the... There's also the... Um, the Grim Troop... One. So let me... Let me check all these. What's this? Please do not scale the outer walls. It's ill-advised, and the archers may shoot you on sight. <laughs> Alright. Oh. I've also... Yeah, I've been through there, of course. So let's see what's here. Is it also Crystal Peak? Yes. Wait, this is where I just was. <laughs> Wait, did I did I get all the transitions here though? Because where where. Oh, yeah. Joni's Blessing is the one next to Cornifer, right? Oh, this actually connects. To... Okay. Let me go to the right and double check that the transition that's normally Dirtmouth is actually Dirtmouth. Because if you Crystal Dash off the right here, you get a different transition. Oh. It's not <laughs> Derp Mouth, okay. Howling Wraiths, okay, good. Fire, can we sacrifice you for Silk Song? Will be for the greater good? No. Who's gonna play it with insane mods then? Exactly, that's what you are thinking, Lisa. <laughs> uh, so I guess I go down here? Oh, nope. We do not go down here. Hey, JC. Good morning. Uh, I think we're, like, most of the way through the mod already, but I'm not completely sure. <clears throat> so I've got all the movement, uh, except Isma's tier and dash. And, um, I just need one more dreamer, if you want to call it dreamers. No, don't sacrifice YouTubers. People are, some people are really awkward about that, and 
just don't have the social awareness to know when they're going too far. So that's kind of why a lot of people have been saying not to joke about that kind of thing. Yo, Shadow Colt. Hope you're doing well too. And that you're having a nice weekend so far. So, hmm. Okay, this leads up to Crystal Guardian. Oh yeah, okay. So I, I've been in this room and I just took a peek up here. I don't remember what was here though. Cause I, I didn't continue. Oh, it's, oh, it's just this room. Okay. But, but wait, have I been through? All the way through everything in the here? I don't... This... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Crystal Heart. Have I been to the bottom right? Probably. A Walkling storage moment. I haven't played this mod since the update came out. I can't remember if there's two endings, endings now or if the DLC is required to end it. Yeah, that's... That's what I'm interested in, because, like, I assume that uh, the base mod just gave you the normal ending. Maybe you can get the true ending from... Oh, I'm back here. Maybe you can get the true ending with the expansion content. Oh, this is blocked. Okay. So this leads to uh, Cornifer and the King's Idol spot. Okay, and now we're back in Green Path. I th mm -hmm. There was definitely a spot somewhere that required dive. Like, I think there were even maybe two spots that were pretty early on. So what was this way? Oh, this is the big room, okay. So I think Crystal Peak is done. Like, I think it is, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't been to the the Hunter's room, right? <laughs> I don't think I've been here. Now that I, now that I think about it, oh, this is where the tram was. Right. Okay. I'm starting to get a feel for the layout. I think. So like Crystal Peak is to the left. Then we got Green Path and then there's like Fungal to the right. No, I can bench warp to tram, so. Which kind of makes me think I'm not supposed to use bench warp, because it kind of. <laughs> kind of makes Dreamgate a little bit pointless in some spots, but. <laughs> it is how it is. It's too late to go back. <laughs> Can go back to Queen's Gardens. True. Okay. So Queen's Gardens is to the right here, right? Oh no, this is fungal. <laughs> I'm just gonna refer to these by their van like vanilla names. So it's less confusing. Have I been through here? Yeah, I have, right? Yeah, 
I've been through this room for sure. I'm gonna explore like up and see where it takes me. Oh, this is Leg Eater. So this is a dead end. And I've bought everything from Leg Eater already. So... Let me double check Elder Who's room. Because I feel like there was a dive spot near here. Right? It's got to be connected to Fungal. Because I think I've been through like almost all of green path like a couple times by now <laughs> some rooms are reversed too yep one of the dark rooms was reversed right okay we're back in queen's garden so that's not a spot that i can dream gate <laughs> Wow, that didn't hit anything. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Funny to watch. Gosh. Okay. So I've been through this room a couple times. Uh, I forget what's at the top, though. Oh, gosh. So, left of here is fungal, right? Let me just go back. Make I want to make sure I've explored everything in fungal, because I do feel like um, there was a dive spot somewhere. Yo, Sun Harvester. Sorry, I forgot to say hi. <laughs> Hope you're doing well and having a nice weekend. <laughs> so lost. Mm. Okay, so when I went to the right here, uh, I... let me just refresh myself on what was to the right. Oops. Oh yeah, did I go through? Oh yeah, I went. I did go through the sewers. Uh, there was just fluke marm, and that was it. Got a dash, though. Got some tabletop RPG. Nice. Hope you have fun with that, Cinders. And thank you for hanging out. Okay, so that's connected to the big, like, Petra room. Whoa. Have I been to the right here? Oh, thanks so much. And I hope you have fun with this stream. Thank you for being such a great person. Oh. Smiling face with hearts. Thanks a lot, Kiryu Chia. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thank you for the kind words. Have fun, roll lots of 20s. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Den? This is the big dark room. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't need to go through there. Because... Mm, I think it was like the double jump room that was connected to there. I want to say. It's Weaver's Den, so there's nothing left there. Maybe I should double check the dark room. 
because there are two transitions there, and I'm not 100% sure if I fully explored everything. Oh, this right, yeah. Ouch. Let me heal up just in case. <laughs> the bad thing about these dark rooms is if you do fall into spikes, then you get warped to the beginning of the room if it's dark. Okay, so I got Nosk. That is done. I picked up whatever I've picked up. <laughs> and let me let me search the left transition just to be sure and that we know that we've done beast in. Pleasure house? Uh, yeah, I could check that. I think people mentioned that it was like, um, the flower quest, but it might be the flower quest and something else. I'll definitely check that again though. Okay, it's Jin. Okay. So Jin is through the dark room at Beast Den. Uh, other than that, this area has nothing left for me. I might go double check the bottom transition here. Uh, Menderbugs, yeah, Menderbug had the dive floor, and that led to the Garpeed and Gome journal. Okay, so this is King's Brand, so that's connected to. The beast den area, which is like the top right of the map, I believe. So once I get King's Brand, this is where I'll need to come. So I want to kind of, uh, maybe I'll go back to city. I forget where city is on the map though. Maybe city is kind of where I need to be going right now. Uh, pleasure house. Let's go here. I totally forget what's over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I can go through and kind of double check everything. Um, connected to like the big city room. Marissa's dead. Yep, I used the key. Uh, why did I call the elevator? <laughs> now I have to wait for it. <clears throat> so, everything to the left is explored, right? Oh, this is the grub room. Let me check um, the actual grub room spot. And this is where I initially entered ouch, this room, I believe. So let, let me check over here first. I don't know if I fully... Like, I don't know if I went down here in this room. Oh, this is junk, junk pit. So I did come down here. Let me dream gate. Oh, it <laughs> doesn't let me dream gate. Maybe I can dream gate in the next room. I don't remember coming down all the way down here, though. Oh, this is the elevator that leads to Basin, and then, oh, the elevator room leads to Basin. And where does this go? Queen's Gardens, okay.
if I were smart, I would be drawing a map. <laughs> like at least a rough sketch, but if we get stuck for too long, we might just like, you know, ask the audience. I don't mind if people want to give like little tips though. Oh, that's blocked. I don't have the key, do I? No. <clears throat> okay, so this goes um, to here, and <laughs> I already need a reminder. Where does this go? I literally just went through here. <laughs> okay, this goes to the elevator. All right. And this whole area is like a dead end, because I've been through... Ah, let me let me double check though. Sun Harvester <laughs> donated five dollars. Yo, thanks a lot, Sun Harvester. I appreciate it. Nice uh dancing sticker thing. <laughs> okay, Dogby. Thanks for hanging out. What's the question mark stag? That is the like last stag. Oops. So I just want to, like, triple check to make sure I've explored everything here. Because, you know, I imagine King's Brand is, like, somewhere around, like, this part of the map. Like, I don't imagine King's Brand would be close to the start. And I'm assuming that's the next thing that I need to progress. Okay, this is... Palace Ruins. This is where um, Dive was? I think this is where Dive was. Time for me to go outside and touch grass. Have a nice stream. Enjoy touching grass. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Uh, okay. So there's the bottom transition, but I think that's blocked, right? And then there's... Oh, it's not blocked. Have I been down here? Oh, shit. <laughs> this just leads me back here. Have I been this way? Oh, yeah. Okay. One of the biggest tips I remember the dev saying to people whenever you get a new item, consider what areas they may have opened up for you. Also, checking rewards checks is important. Okay. Honestly, I kind of got spoiled by checking the map because I threw the map in my thumbnail. So I think that you can get to Grub Father. And that might be by diving in Dirtmouth. It was just... I didn't... Hmm. Let me, let me go see, I guess. I don't remember the ground being, like, shaking. Like, uh... You know. But let's try. Oh, it, it, it did shake. I swear I stepped on it before, I don't remember it shaking. You just dive on the bottom of the room where you get Soul Eater. Um, I forget what was in the crypts. I totally forget. Oh, this is a vanilla room, by the way. Oh, this connects straight to the grubs. Grub Song. Luma Fly Lantern. I wonder if that's supposed to be used to get through the, uh, the dark room that I went through. 
Probably not, because it's not that hard of a dark room. I'm going to do things with my kids. Thank you for the stream this morning. Have a wonderful weekend. You too, Becca. Have a nice time with the uh, kids. Oh. Okay, let's go get that mask shard. Uh, assuming it is a mask shard. <laughs> that is. Hey, Marion. How are you doing? So yeah, we've found a new area. So far we've just got Grub Song. Oh, we have a completed vessel now. That's nice. I'm still, I'm just, I'm not even gonna bother getting Shaman Stone. <laughs> well, this area is nice because it's just like a straight line so far. I say as we get like a four-way split, <laughs> four-way crossroads. Okay. Uh, this is a dead end too. Oops. Oh, I wonder if this grub gives a new reward. The number of grubs required to get rewards has definitely changed. Oh, we got a boss fight. <laughs> this one should be pretty easy. Ouch. I lied. Yeah, having nail two is pretty nice. So I need to remember to go back and check that uh, fungal transition. Okay, this is a dead end, right? So that's good. Oh shit, <laughs> the double hit. Uh, God, where am I going? <laughs> King's Brand? Oh, it's another mask. So I've, I've got all of them. <laughs> Does that mean I can just go and beat the game now? I wonder if the Abyss is actually like a spot you can go to then. Or if, or if that is all. I'm curious. Let's go back to Aspid Arena. That sure is the Triforce. Well, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, okay. Elegant Key. I can actually bench warp right there. Have you met the old bug? He's not as shiny as you, but smells nice. Have you met the old caterpillar? He lacks children. So you need 700 essence to empty the chest? I wonder if you need to get the dream trees. But e even then, you definitely need to get a couple more dream warriors. So I'm only at 363. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe I should go to Black Egg Temple because it might not actually be the end of the game, right? So that was connected to City. I hope, <laughs> I hope I'm remembering this right. I think it was, um, it's not that one, is it? It's like over to the left here. This one is Black Egg Temple. Oh. Wait, let's see if there's any dialogue here. <laughs> he 
keys to the vault securely guarded in the towns of the kingdom. Okay. Yep. I already know that. Uh, let me... Was it this door? Oh, yeah. Okay. He lacks children is the most ominous way to refer to Grubfather. <laughs> okay. Ah, I thought the King's Brand might be here. <laughs> So let me let me just check to the right to see if oh <laughs> okay yeah that is a dead end I believe <laughs> um okay so oh shit King's Brand was like connected to Beasten right the bottom transition below Beasten. Which was connected to uh, the Deepness Spa, right? Okay, see you later, Miles. Thanks for hanging out. So it, it's down here, I think. Yeah, okay. I'm actually remembering things. Maybe maybe we'll get Dash down here. <laughs> I wonder if Dash is going to be like at Howling Wraiths or something. I mean, it, it would be kind of suitable if it was at Shade Cloak, wouldn't it? Because you get like a Dash upgrade there. So... I wonder if Shade Cloak is just like not in this mod. That would be evil if it was like at one of the Geo Rock locations in this room. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. What do we got? World sense? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not world sense. <laughs> so, world sense is the item that lets you see how much percent you have so far in the game. So, we've got 60%. You can see it in the bottom right. Ah, just just what we wanted. Top 10 most useless items, yep. Maybe we'll just like get Void Heart down here. Oh, this is vanilla. Interesting. Maybe we just don't get Dash. <laughs> I'm starting to think Dash is just wishful thinking. the hollow knight is okay oh i forgot i have a quick slash on so yeah we don't get dash i guess there's no true ending either unless it's like really really hidden somewhere i 
should have dream gated just in case there's like any extra damage in this fight or something White lady's husband. Uh, yes. <laughs> Perhaps. She did ask us to kill the person who was stuck or like trapped or whatever. Wait, what? What is happening with this? What was that? What are these drawings? <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Should we just killed him and peaced out? <laughs> Alright, that's really cool. <laughs> Plot twist, this isn't the end of the game and get dash as the fight reward. <laughs> that would be neat for sure. Maybe I should have paid more attention to the story because I don't know what the uh that dream particle stuff was. I assumed that you could just like dream nail it. The other ending requires finding literally every bit of essence that you can. <laughs> oh boy. Whew. Hey Cactus. How you doing? You came at the perfect time. <laughs> Where's that ridiculous theory the game theory guy had about you being the king? Oh yeah. I vaguely remember that. I guess he was right after all. What on earth is going on? I mean, the fact that we don't know what was going on, I will take fault for that. But I'm not ashamed. That's just how I am. <laughs> I'm a speedrunner. I don't like reading. That was fun, though. It was uh, definitely more different than I even expected. And it was very difficult to uh, get my bearings. Because at least with the room rando, you have like map mod S, or at least I always rely on it. So it's actually not that difficult with map mod S. But no map at all. That's that is challenging. Speedrunner derogatory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we kind of respect speedrunners here. Is this the end of the stream? Uh, I don't really see myself going back and getting all the essence because God, I don't, I don't remember. Like I half completed a bunch of dream trees, so that would take a while. And I assume you just, like, go to the Seer and maybe get Voidheart. And, like, I don't know. It's probably not... I don't know if it's worth the effort, but maybe. But I will leave that for... If any of you want to play the mod, you can definitely... Try that out and get the true ending. 
I'm probably gonna call it here for this stream. Uh, but I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow as well. We're gonna be doing... What are we even doing tomorrow? Let me, let me pull it up. I totally forgot what the other stream was. It's gonna be a roguelike bingo. So... <laughs> The concept of a roguelike bingo is most bingo sheets, you have like a square, like a five by five square of bingo goals, and you can get the bingo goals in whatever order you want. With a roguelike bingo, you start at the top of the bingo sheet and you can only see like the first line of goals and you kind of have to progress downwards. And as you get bingo goals, you can see what the next goals are. So you have to kind of like make a path downward to reach the bottom of the bingo sheet. And once you get to the bottom, that's when you uh, have completed the, the run. So it's definitely a really interesting way to play bingo. And I'm also going to be doing that with randomizer just to like make things uh, difficult for myself because I like doing that. <laughs> so that's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. I've never done a bingo game like that with uh, Hollow Knight. There's also there, so there's like roguelike bingo and there's also exploration bingo, which is a similar concept. Exploration bingo makes you start at the center, and it's like a 13 by 13 uh, bingo card, so it's enormous. And the goal is to like get to the corners, so you have to progress from the center, and you reveal the goals around you as you kind of go along. Really cool stuff. Okay, let me see if there's someone to uh, quote unquote host. <laughs> Blue is streaming. You know, like, <laughs> we have the technology to host people on YouTube now, but it's like, there's uh, usually not anyone really streaming. And I've also lost my bookmark to make it to the uh, page to see where everyone is streaming. So like, how do I, how do I even get to the point in YouTube where I see other Hollow Knight streams? How do you even do that? Blue is on PB pace. Oh shit. Okay, let's watch Blue. Blue has been trying for a PB for a while now. Um, and Blue is an awesome streamer. Blue normally streams 112% um, all Pantheon bosses, and that's just like a super exciting category right now because Valley literally posted like another world record just yesterday, I think. Was it yesterday? No, that was... Was it yesterday? God, I forget. I'm getting so confused with all the world records that are getting posted. I think it was. And it was like, uh, skipped the 308, so that's pretty... Awesome. But yeah, go watch Blue, and I will see you all tomorrow if you're around. Really appreciate you all so much, and hope you all have a really nice day. Let me catch up on chat before I leave, just in case. We're going to be playing Fall Guys again this stream? Uh, no. But I do plan on doing a subathon to celebrate 300k at some point. I just want to get some other things set up first. Seven other people streaming HK. <laughs> that's, that's way more than normal. Normally it's like three people. Okay. Go watch Blue, everyone. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for hanging out. Peace.